If you're anything like me, you're starting to see and hear all the people talk about planning for the new year. This is not your first rodeo, so I'm not going to tell you the basics of you need a business coach, you need a plan, don't just haphazardly let just run out there and go do it. But what I do want to share with you is four different ways that I know people mess up and they don't take into account because number one, we think about our plan more so than we actually feel our plan. And it looks like this. If you're working with a business coach or something like that, they'll be like, all right, what was you, what did you make last year? Let's double it. That's a thought process. And like, all right, now we doubled it. Let's work our way backwards, right? All is all great. I've done that before. But then we're forgetting why we don't do it. The reason why we don't do it is because there's no true attachment to it. There's no feeling. There's no reason to do so. Then that same business coach, this is not wrong. This is not bad. This is like basics, by the way. You need to be more specific. So not only are you going to double your goal, thought base, you're going to be more specific. How do you know you hit that goal? You hit that goal. You're going to set benchmarks. Those are milestones, KPIs, so on and so forth. But you're going to forget one small little factor. Specifics. Specifics is all about you being specific on not hitting that goal, on what happens when you do hit the goal, because that's one thing people forget about, how you're going to celebrate, how you're going to be happy, or more importantly, what happens when you don't hit that goal. And you have to embed that so your body starts to really go at it. Right. And really uh, attach itself to the goal. That's the whole ch kicker here. You have to do it in a way where your nervous system doesn't level up and, and make you all anxious and crazy. And then you stall out or you self-sabotage either or. But you need to get specifics. It's not about the specifics of, oh, you have to set the goal and get specific on how you get that goal. And then there's the factor part three, factoring in your growth. For instance, if you are going to make it to this new level, doubling your income, not only does it have to be physically draining on you or physically taxing on you, you have to be conditioned to work at that level. And are you willing, capable, and able of doing that? So there is a learning code. You have to factor in your learning code for conditioning yourself to be there because anybody can have a flash in the pan, go really, really big, and then all of a sudden they're out. And you see that constantly where like, I work so hard, I need a day off. Life and the way that you're doing needs to be conditioned where you're doing it consistently. And because you're not doing consistently, what will happen is you'll have these ebbs and flows rather than having this nice upward trajectory of getting better, resting, getting better, resting, getting better, resting. And that's you factoring in your growth curve. So if you're trying to double X, yeah, you could probably do it and you're going to do it, but it's going to come out of cost, family, life, mental emotional, physical, all those things are going to come at a price because you have to shift dramatically to do that.